starting para sa Kia. Revilla and Dehesal sa backcourt and Jai Rich Alvarez at Jet Chang naman sa frontcourt. For Baraco, it's Lanete and Joseph Yeo together with Intal, Pascual and Liam McMorrow. Short on tira ni Rich Alvarez and on the rebound, Hamari and Jai taps it. It hits the back support. It's going to go the other way. Siguro importante, they get uh, Liam McMorrow going somehow. And we talked about the stamina of Hamari Enjai, but he played practically the entire first half. He would lag back on the on, uh, offense sometimes, but sa depensa, primo ang laro niya. And Pepe is singing. You see uh, McMorrow. You can tell that he wants to be aggressive. Pero iba na ang kanyang tira eh. He had to alter it dahil uh, napapaisip na ang Barako energy inside the paint because of the presence of Hamari Enjai. Loose ball foul on Jake Pascual. Para manang naririnig yung sinasabi ni Coach uh, Chito Victorero kay Enday. We don't want you to score. So long as you play defense, okay, na ka, okay ka na sa akin. Just make sure the other team doesn't score as well. Oh. Ito si Jet Chang. Look at the way Enday is pursuing him. The pass goes to Enday. He loses it. Makmoro picks it up. Ito red shirts. Lanete nagmamadali. Miss Q, but then able to recover JC. just in time. Lay in para kay JC. Jai, an outside shot. He's short. An offensive rebound na kuha ni Jet Chang. One of those times Liam McMorrow wasn't able to clear the board. Jet Chang is wide open. And he makes the play. That's a three. Brought to us by PLDT Home DSL Triple Play Plans. Again, yung sinasabi natin about LA Revilla. This guy's a facilitator. Siya nakakahanap kung sino yung mga libre, yung mga kakampi niya. So you need to put pressure on Revilla so he doesn't execute. Tira ni JC is uncounted. Sa baba daw nangyari yung foul. Anong balita, Jancel? Kia kept a close game against Baraka Bull nung first half. At dito sa second half for Kia, it's gonna be about defense. Not giving easy shots for Mac Morrow at aasahan na magiging mas physical sila. As for Baraka Bull, they will be more offensive-minded here in the second half, Charlie. Thanks a lot, sir. It's very important nga na malimit nila si Liam Mac Morrow. And uh, definitely... He is way below his usual production so far. Jake Pasqua, the ball is taken away by Rich Alvarez. And there's a foul. Oh, oh, oh that was my foul for Jake Pasqua. Oh. Double block. So again, another turnover against Parapo. Coach uh, Koy Banal wondering, ano ba nangyayari sa team niya? No? Right now, it's Kia dictating the tempo with their defense. Go to Chang, hit a three from the right. Ayo naman, towards the hoop. And look at that battle for the rebound between the B-Moths, and it's going to stay with Kia Carnival. Pass inside, De Hesa. Nakao play, pero hindi na completo. Yes, Magbara, look at him trying to seal. And Jaya so that he can get position. And Jaya naman si And he's staring down the referee. Upset na walang foul na tinawag dun sa loose ball play. Once again, bringing the rear. And that's an offensive foul on And Jaya. And that's what we were saying. He was called for one like that early in the game. And every time he sets that high screen, he moves. Yan ang chink sa armor ni And Jaya. to the fact that hindi siya nakaka-score dito. He's got to be able to be establishing that uh, that screen without moving. Now warning on Chito Victolero, coach ng uh, Kia for complaining. We're all tied up at 37. They go to McMorrow. McMorrow can't want to force the issue. He got free there. Look at all those bodies banging. Three minutes gone by in second half. Tabla pa rin natin score. Ito, hinihintay nila si Enja. And he again set a moving pick. Buti nila wala siyang nakontak doon. That's right. Ito si Jet Chan. And look at that offensive rebound. Nobody boxed out Rich Alvarez. Napakadaling rebound para sa kanya. Another possession for the Carnival. There's that pick once again. And he steps out every time. Ito si L.A. Revilla. Enjai wanted to slam it home. Let's see if Intal can get to this. 
Able to save it to Joseph Yo. Nice effort from JC and Todd to keep this possession alive. And Lanete goes around the defense for the hoop. Hustle play there by Barajo. And you need to be able to do that against a tough defensive team like Kia. Revilla goes baseline. Off the glass and ganda naman ang galaw dito si Eli Revilla. Revilla now with six points. Another escape act by Radar Revilla. Lanete naman, has a lane. Wants two in a row, he gets it. Chico Lanete is just a wily veteran. Oh yeah, battle of point guards right now. Sirana gets changed on baskets. Lanete, that's a challenge. Facing ito si Eli Revilla. Dejesa, bukas mula sa tres. Hindi pumasok, tapi ikan sa rebound. Pascual taps it. And the ball is still being pursued. Who will win this possession? Referees confer. And Tankyon says, going the other way. <laughs> Joseph Yo can't believe it. Ito yung move kanina ni Revilla. Performance play. At it's other Stanley Tools. Performance in action. Lanete mukhang napagod. And now, pinasok si R.R. Garcia. Press legs from the point guard position. And for both teams, as Gwen Suceso relieved it's L.A. Revilla. Joshua Webb, short on the three, gets his own rebound. And itong ki, uh, Baraco has been missing box out uh, duties here in quarter number three. Oh, look at this. It's going to be a slam dunk right here. Or not, yeah. not quite a slam dunk. But two points just to save for Rai Makoro off the steal. Only eight points for him. Those probably will be the easiest points he'll get in this game. Well, I just see Enchai to try to block his way. There's a foul away from the ball. Foul number 15, Liam Makoro. Third personal. Jason Lorsch for Rich Alvarez. Palit palit player dito because of the high intensity of the ball game. You're not seeing too many up and down plays and finishes, but that's because of the defense and that's wearing down the players. For uh, Barajo, Carlo Lassimosa is back and Justin Chua seeing action for the first time once again. The referees are blowing it quite close here. Pretty tight in the third, third quarter. 14 to shoot. Ben Suceso waiting for NJ to get to the post. One dribble. That high hook shot, no goal. The battle for the rebound. Jason Deutschman is blocked by Justin Chua. Ayun na, nakuha na ni R.R. Garcia finally in possession. Big Pasquale kicks to Yo. Finds left him off open from the right side. Short on the jumper and Enzai clears that rebound. And let's see how Barako does with Liam McMorrow. Sitting on the bench. And Joshua Webb on his third Joshua attempt from outside finally gets a basket. Kia is playing four against five on their offensive sets. Indeed, Umaak Yetzi and Yaya, he's just waiting in the backcourt. Concentration is to play defense. And if you're Barako, you're five against four. You're supposed to be able to put a stop at least contest a shot like that, Gallic and Joshua Webb. R.R. Garcia with the ball. And then double team. Yo gets it, goes baseline. There's a foul from Joshua Webb. Tuloy, tuloy. On the reverse is Joseph Yo, but the referees will not count that. We're talking about this during the break, uh, Dean. Uh, ito yung challenge para sa big guys like Meyerhofer, Justin Chua, dahil si Liam McMorrow due to three personals. Si Nubuna Muna, si Coach Koy Banal. These big guys have to step up. Being aggressive now and going to the hole is Rico Meyer Hoffer. Pasok ang kanyang unang free throw. Four point lead for Baraco Energy. 
leading Morocco Energy. With a six and one record. That is Jerry Buentuseso. Somebody hit the deck. JR, uh, that's Justin Chua. Richards get it. However, Hiram Magacing so magay siya ni Yo. That's going to be a foul. That's a 15 foul now for Kia. So next we'll put uh, next foul will put Barako at the line. That's a penalty situation now, uh, Kia. 5.07 remaining third quarter, Ara Garcia. Then Sami Kaliwa kicks to Laftimosa, who decides to drive. And kick it back to RR. Nothing on the three. It looks trying for that rebound. Rico Meyerhofer fake twice. Nico Magazzi and Jai. The fresh 24 na manyan. Igo digut mo na bola para sa barako as Joseph Yo will handle. Take the jumper. That's offline and finally Joshua Webb clears. And try to bring it up by himself. Before waiting for the point guard to come and get it. Hayram Bagacin. Pass inside to Enjai. Justin Chua. No choice but to foul him to prevent a possible end one situation. So now, now they're going to try. Yung free throw shooting the end. Exactly. And especially since nakaupo naman si Makmoro, for Kia, they shouldn't just put the ball in the hands of their shooters. They should just make sure that Endai and Jai is in position to score from the inside. Knocks down the first. As we remind you to show your support and be part of history in the making. On Independence Day, show your pride and passion. Get a chance to receive free PBA game tickets and more. Be at the Red Gate Parking at the Smart Anatomy Coliseum, 12.30 p.m. on Friday, June 12th, for a chance to help the country win the 2019 FIBA World Cup bid. So don't forget, punta po kayo rito sa Biernes. Holiday naman yan, may pagkakataon. you probably get to watch the game as well, because I heard free tickets will be given to the first uh, X thousand uh, people who come over. So, makilahot na kayo at uh, makisama dyan sa... You might be on that uh, audiovisual presentation. Uh, Ipapakita sa FIBA as Jason Deutschman. When you talk about getting poked on the eye. That's what happened to Enzai contra sa Alaska. It looks like it happened to Deutschman on this play. Deutschman is still on the deck. Justin Chua called for the foul. Tingnan natin yung nangyari. Look at the intimidation by Enzai. Para siyang na-jab sa mukha. You know, talking about boxing, uh, see games today, we won some medals, but uh, basketball ito, bawal yan. Deutschman has six points to his credit. Knocks down the first one, this guy's got a good shooting hand. Oh, without a doubt. Natanda natin, when he scored ten points, he has a victory over Enlex. Nangyari yun sa Inaris Antipolo. We're all tied up at 45. I think fifth deadlock. Sa atin laro, 3.45 na titira. Rico Mayhofer immediately breaking down. Well, Dodgeman was saying that they should have maybe given up a foul, but if they give up a foul for him to be replaced, then they'll shoot free throws on the other end. Now action will resume finally after that lull. Hiram Magaching, may tangan ng bola, goes to Buen Suceso. There's Hiram once again. Look at that screen, Mulaki Kyle Pascual freeing up Hiram Bagatzing who knocks down the threes. Makmoro and Enjai batting again. They're back in the ball game after resting for a bit. Leftimosa trying to make his move. Scored 10 points in the first half. Wala parito, and that's a miss. The end of the rebound. White Church will go. I guess Enjai altering that shot. He averages five blocks a game, but maybe 20 alterations of Balva attempts from the opponents as Tiele gets another basket. This fellow has played well para kay Coach Victolero. Instant offense galing kay Tiele. Remember he had a three-point shot earlier. Three! So three-point three shot. Yung tres, R. Garcia, not yet up at 50 all. Finally, umabot na sa half century mark yung mga kumpanan. Only two and a half remaining in the third quarter. Joshua. Quick pass to Bagatzing for three, and Buen Suceso getting the rebound. One of the quick pass inside the end. And Tiele all alone, not a red shirt within three feet of Hans Tiele. Back to back baskets. Para sa Again, because of Enjai, 
yung depensa ng Barako nakatutok sa kanya leaving uh, Fiela wide open he's got 9 points now in the game dalawang minuto na lang natitira sa third quarter Meyerhofer nakuha ang pasa tied up by jo Joshua Webb I was about to say Jason and he's oh, called for the foul yeah. penalty situation so mag free throw si Rico Meyerhofer which uh, gives us time to turn you over to Sel Guevara after Hamari Enjai, it's now Jason Deutschman with an injured left eye, and he's now in the Kia dugout. At ang sabi ni Deutschman, malabo na ang kanyang paningin sa kanyang kaliwang mata. And according to their medical team, kailangan pa ito ng further assessment kasi dumudugo ang puting portion ng kanyang mata. And that is the reason why he couldn't see sa kanyang kaliwang mata. Wow, well, when he knocked down the free throws, however, so good for him. Pero yun na nga, uh, that's really dangerous and uh, when your eyeball is bleeding. That's right. And, uh, that's, that's what prompted Karim Abdul-Jabbar to, to turn those goggles. goggles. Yeah. Oh, dahil nakakalbot palagi ang kanyang mga mata. And I later on, Moses Malone also yeah. was wearing goggles. James Worthy as well. No? Protective yung kanila. Eh. Sila Horace Grant dahil may grade yung mga salamin nila. Eh. Ito si Enjai. There's a call inside. Who's going to be called for the foul? The reach in? Rico Meyerhofer. First personal palang ni Rico yan. But that's free throws for Hamari Enjai. Dahil penalty na magkabi lang kumpunan. Minute and 36 remaining sa ating third quarter. I'm Charlie Kuna together with the Dean. Kinito Henson. Tapos si Sel Guevara naman. Narigdo just a while ago at courtside. And Enjai making his free throws in this game. I mean, this guy played three years in the NBA. Two years with the Washington Wizards, one year with the uh, Sacramento Kings. Said that if you total the number of games that he played, not too many games he actually played. He played only 33 total games in the NBA over three seasons. He's actually the third enzyme to play in the NBA. You have Mamadou and Maktar yeah. who played before. They're all from Senegal. I don't know if they're related, but uh, apparently, uh, you want to go to the NBA, uh, you can make it if you're from Senegal. Sagana Jop, I know, is also from uh, Senegal. 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 Those NBA players from Senegal actually showed up to play for Senegal at the FIBA World Cup last year, including Njai, losing to the Philippines in overtime. Well, I think uh, isang panalo in our World Cup stint. Carlo Leftimosa, free throws, tabla na naman, 54 all ang ating score. It's a low-scoring ball game, and the pace has been very inconsistent. Here's Hiram Bagat Singh to Joshua. He'll take the jumper from 16. It rolls out and McMorrow another rebound. He's doing his job on the boards. Six, 14 rebounds for Liam McMorrow. Look at that pass fake of Derecho a basket, but unable to complete it, Rico Meyerhofer. And Webb, the hustle play to save it. When Suceso goes to Tiele, who decides to kick it out to Hiram. Three doesn't go, and Joshua Webb keeping it alive. Look at this guy showing some energy. A lot of hustle being shown here by Kia. A scrappy team. They, they smell a chance to get a victory. Kinito dito, dahil tikitang 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 laro. Dito na naiwanan, like in the last ball game. Tiele, 4-3. Way off. Joseph Yopomulot up ahead to R.R. Garcia. Moro was feeling the lanes. Dito na bigay sa kanya. They'll hold because it's the last second opportunity. Na ito. Only nine, ten seconds rather. As RR trying to shake off the defense of Joshua Webb. And not able to do it. Joshua Webb, look at him, giving RR Garcia all sorts of trouble. And now he's going to get As Kia had that defensive stance. And what a close game we have. Three quarters of action. Low scoring as it is. These two teams hungry for a victory. Nakita natin, Cardo Estimosa leading all scorers with 13. Doing some damage in this quarter. But Kia just hanging around. 54 on the score. Magpalik namin, fourth and final quarter action from the Big Dome.